this is what happens when you have an indicator that is able to tell you the sentiment of the market and of the traders which are currently trading the same asset. In this video, you can learn how I use the sentiment index to build a setup and you can see how I was able to close the trade with a more than 3.6x profit. Let's now go back at the beginning of this trade and see how it all started. So today we are on Bitcoin on the five minutes time frame. So it's a really small time frame and we are using three indicators, the breakout pivotal bars, the levels and zones, and the sentiment index. Uh, a new opportunity might form right here. So I'll draw it for you and then I'll explain how I'm going to use the indicators to confirm whether we have the opportunity or not. So. The general idea is that we are in a downtrend, but this uh, this price action here might point towards a, a, a reversal point. Uh, it looks like it might be a reversal point, and the consolidation that's taking place here uh, points toward a, a further uh, upward movement of the price, potentially at least up to this resistance level here. So. Uh, here we have an impulse to the upside, this is the impulse and then we have this consolidation that's uh, that's taking place here, okay? It's pretty much like this. Uh, this kind of consolidation usually points to the, uh, a further upward movement and the fact that I'm expecting to see such upward movement is also confirmed by the sentiment index. So the, uh, the bullish sentiment index, uh, the one colored in green, is now decreasing, which means that a certain point here, at a certain point in the future, approximately here, uh, the, the market sentiment either comes down uh, and becomes bearish. In such case, we will not have an opportunity because the price action will actually move down and I'm not interested in a downward movement here. In, a, in the other case, instead, the market sentiment will break to the upside and at the same time we should expect uh, a breakup of this consolidation. Or at least if we have a breakup of the market sentiment to the upside and at the same time a breakup of the price action uh, of this consolidation, then we have a setup. So let's just wait and see what happens. I'm quite confident that we might get the opportunity, but we just need to wait and see. Okay, so we got the opportunity. I had to move the, the trend line a bit higher here and a bit higher here because it, you always need to track the price action and the market sentiment. So the previous uh, uh, trend line was down here because the, uh, it was down here. Yeah, sorry. So uh, because this was the, the, the trend that we could draw but then we got this kind of uh, breakup but as you can see it's a red candle so we cannot take a breakup with the red candle a break to the upside must be with a, a green candle uh, by the way these candles are colored by the breakout pivotal bars indicator uh, if you want to test the indicator, uh, the breakout pivotal bars along with the other indicators in our suite, you can do so by visiting the link in the description down below. So uh, since this was not an actual breakup, uh, I had to move uh, the, the trend line up and then up again because it was not a breakout either. And finally we got our breakup. At the same time we got a breakup here on the sentiment index. So this is a valid breakup. The um, trade looks like this. So the entry point is at this level, around this level. Our stop loss is going to be, well, if you want to be 100% uh, uh, conservative, uh, we should place it uh, like this. So uh, it should be at the lower level in regard to the lowest point in the consolidation, so a bit lower. But if you are more confident in this type of setups uh, and in, in particular in this kind of uh, 
uh, in this kind of uh, price action then we can be a little bit more strict on the stop loss and maybe set it like this uh, it let me see yeah it should it should be okay and then uh, regarding the target well what I usually do is that I just take the previous impulse and I project the impulse to the upside so I take uh, the lowest but it starts uh, uh, from the lowest point of the consolidation uh, up to this level so let's see what happens okay so this is quite interesting because we have uh, uh, more than 3x risk reward which is uh, quite quite uh, significant reward for this kind of setup so mm, uh, it looks like it might work uh, I would say that the price could potentially reach this uh, um, this level up here this resistant I mean it could go and retest this level if it moves up then the chances uh, are that it goes up here and retest this level so if you want to be a bit more risky we might set the target to be this high if you want to stay a bit more conservative we can definitely keep it uh, at this level right here that we said before so uh, I think I will leave it here and I'll see what happens so the price uh, went a little bit sideways uh, initially and then it popped like crazy uh, what I did was the, uh, that I moved the target up to the resistance uh, up here like uh, I discussed before because when you have this kind of price action where the the, the price just skyrockets this high with a long candle like this uh, in this kind of setups then the chances that it will continue in this uh, kind of trend are very high see what happened back here when you we had a long uh, a long candle the price continued to fall and then again and continue to fall further and then again here and fall again and again and then with this uh, sort of two candles it, and then it went up so i'm expecting the price to go higher so i just moved the the target a bit higher it's not that much but it's still it's still some money more if we get to the target uh, of course what i did is, was that i as soon as this candle closed i moved my stop loss to break even but actually i moved it quite uh kind of halfway here uh it, it was uh in my trading account it was this level here okay because when you have this kind of candles as i explained before uh the there is a high chance that the price uh, continues without retracing um, so i do not expect the price will come down any further than this but if it does then i'm taking uh, quite a decent amount of money uh, it's more than one to one uh, which uh, is uh, it's still okay if the price uh, retraces i'm not expecting it to retrace but it might so i am very very generous with my break-even level so i move it almost halfway into the target the new target um, let's see what happens now okay so as expected the price went to target uh, it went straight up uh, which uh, is a demonstration of what i said before so when you have this kind of impulsive movements and long candles in these kind of setups the chances are that the price will continue quite rapidly to go up there are times when the price moves a little bit sideways like here like here uh, so I was expecting maybe some sideways movement here but uh, we were lucky and the price uh, oh, actually passed the target quite significantly uh, so we, we, we got home our money and the trade is now closed with a 
more than 3.5x return. So it's it's very great for this kind of setup. It's a very great return. So I'm super happy about this trade. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to like it below. Uh, subscribe if you didn't already and if you have any comment feel free to ask in, uh, in the section down below uh, I'll see you guys in the next video